Hi guys, Lily here and I'm back with my second DT4 Spare Ball Bulls 2012 and as I said in my previous video where I did a tutorial on the leaves I was gonna make a wreath of it so here it is and let's see if I can get the camera far enough up there And let's see if it focuses a little bit better. And it goes all the way down with this. So let me put down my camera now so I can show you a little bit better. Okay, so I can do this. There you see the leaves, Diana. Let's see, get it focused. There you go, and you can see how nicely they're shaped, and after the video was done I went over the edges with the stickles and I also decided to put some silver on it, because that's more suitable for my home. You can see there how nice it follows the lines, everything. So this is a twig from my garden, it's a real natural thing, it's a hop, hops. Okay, so let me pull it down a little closer to myself here so I can actually get to it. Okay, so I have some uh, fibers going here. I'm not sure what these are called in English. I'm sorry. Um, I started with making this flower and these are just leaves, like the fabric leaves. I ordered them on Sibbet ages ago. They're like for scattering in... Um, and decorating in weddings and so on so I layered a couple of hundred <laughs> leaves uh, here and I used wild orchid craft flowers all the way around it's um, these are the new magnolias and it's the same flower all the way down but I took off some leaves you know this one this one this one that's actually the same flower but I just divided it to make a bud and a bigger bud, a smaller flower, a bigger flower, and so on. So it goes becomes smaller and smaller and smaller. And same here. And these were from my stash. And these I made for uh, um, some months ago. And here's a little peak of a little lace. Um, let's see over here. Let's see. To finish it off at the top, it's, the leaves are bent down. You can see without any problems shaping them. You know, you can just bend it like this, and it stays like that. Pretty cool. But if you want, you can bend it out again. So yeah. Mm. You can see the gorgeous colors in the in the in the um, papers. I embossed them a little bit too much, I think, but you know what? It's just they just came out the way they wanted, as usual. <laughs> so, and then I used a tassel here, and that's I got from Virginia, I believe. And this here, uh, this wreath, is just made out of uh, pizza boxes, yes. <laughs> and then I layered a couple of um, sheets of it because it was too bendable. And then I put some uh, padding and then I twined the um, fabric around and left the frayed edges to make it like rustic. And down here is a little bit smaller flower. Now these are colored up with coffee, just a little bit of coffee, and then I made a bow. And this was a stretchy lace, so in order to get it more stiff, I would use that. Um, what you would call it? This. Uh, it's. Um, doing something with the house <laughs> I can't remember and here you see some moss as well 
uh, then you see the gorgeous colors again and I used some uh, pearl sprays and the tassel at the bottom looks like this seam binding a little bit of lace pretty right. and then here you can see more moss leaves and you can see the fabric on the side on the back here um, make it all pretty and nice now this doesn't look very uh, crafting it's done with um, how a florist would do it I'm a florist so uh, I didn't want to do it too much I wanted the leaves to stand out as much as possible even though you know the flowers are the main thing in a florist work but the leaves can play a big part but you have to choose well and of course these leaves are <laughs> they, they are stunning I mean and then bossing on them oh my it just came out so pretty uh, you can of course do this without embossing them and without so much um, uh, well, dry embossing and wet embossing so yeah I hope you like the project Diana there's more coming up I just have to figure out what to do you know um, <coughs> Uh, I had really a lot of fun doing this and her papers are so gorgeous um, she has some that's so nice for altering paper bags as well so I think I might be doing that as well um, you know me and my bags <laughs> so um, yeah I hope you liked it, Diana, and I speak to you all again very soon. Bye-bye.